Let's build up your first white pad automation. In this tutorial, we will develop automation that will open the web page where it has to enter our name and birthday month. Then will be generated by the web page our unicorn name. So based on the name and birthday month, will be generated a unicorn name and the robot will extract the unicorn name and display it on the message box. Let's get started by creating a new project. So let's create a blank project by clicking here on process. And let's define the process name to find unicorn name. And let's create the process. So our project is created. So to develop it, let's open our main workflow where we'll develop power automation. So to open it, we can simply click here on open main workflow. And it's here where we'll develop power automation. So how are built the white path automations? White path automations are built with activities. And what are activities? So the activities are blocks of actions that executes a certain action. So we have activity that executes a click, we have activity that writes text, we have activity that writes on Excel file, that reads an Excel file. So an activity executes a certain action. So let's think about the robot that we want to develop. So it first should open the browser on this a web page. So how we can do that on WebPath? So we'll use the use application browser activity. And what this activity does, it allows to open, close and use applications or browsers that we want to automate. So it works both for browsers and applications. So uh, to use it, we will drag to our project, to our file. And as it says here, first we have to decay the application to automate. So before clicking here to decay, make sure you have the browser open on the web page. And now let's click here and let's decay the browser open on this web page by doing left click and here we can see a screenshot that was taken to the web page and also here we can see the URL, the page URL. So uh, let's see how it runs our automation. So let's just try to close the browser and now let's run it and now we can run our automation. We can simply click on this button or click here on run file or run else or also debug it works also so let's run it and we can see that was open the browser on the web page and it was then closed so this activity also allows to open and now to close so let's just here remove the close part and now we can do it so make sure we have here the activity selected and then here let's click on the properties to open the properties panel and here we can see the properties of this activity so uh, to avoid the close by this activity here on close let's head to never and by this way this activity will never close the browser so if we run again the automation we can see that the browser was open, but it wasn't closed. So the first step is done. So let's do the next one. So here then the robot should enter the name and the birthday. So uh, for that, let's use here the type into activity and this activity writes text on the indicated field. So make sure you drag it inside of the use application browser 
and if you don't drag it, it will not work. We can see. So if we try now to indicate the target, we get an exception and it says that it should be inside the user application browser activity. So let's drag it here and let's indicate uh, this field where we should indicate the name. Let's confirm the selection by clicking on confirm. And now here, let's just enter the text to, to enter. So uh, first we must open the old quotes and then we enter here my name. So then we have a drop down. So to select an item from a drop down, we have a specific activity for that. So here on the activities panel, let's search for select item and let's write activity. So let's indicate the drop down. And let's confirm. And now if we click here on this button, we can see here that was a got. We can see that was extracted the months available on the web page dropdown. So I'll select here the my birthday month. So after inserting the name and selecting the birthday month, the robot should click on get name in order to appear here the unicorn name. So to click on the button, we will use the activity click that does a click on the indicated element. So let's write the activity and let's click here to indicate the button where it should click. Let's indicate. Let's confirm. And now, so it will appear here the text, the unicorn name. So let's just simulate here. So let's enter the text, the name. And then let's enter here the birthday month. Let's click on get name. And here we can see the unicorn name generated. So and after the robot click on get name, it should extract the text that appears here. And to do it, we will use the get text activity. So let's decave from where we want to extract text. So let's decave here this label, this text. Let's click on confirm confirm the selection and now we have to create the variable to store the text extracted so to create it easily we can click for example on this button and then we can click on create variable and let's create a variable str unicorn name then we have other ways to create variables the fastest one is by doing control key and then set the variable name and press the enter. So uh, now that we have the unicorn name on this variable, let's display it on the message box. So let's use the message box activity. And so the text show will be the one that fits on this variable, the unicorn name. So let's call for the variable. And now if we run the automation, it should enter our name, our birthday month, click on the get name button, extract the unicorn name and show it on the message box. Let's see how it's working. It opens the browser, it enters our name, generates an unicorn name and here we can see uh, the unicorn name on the message box. So let's just add now some interactivity to our robot. So let's build the robot to ask our name in the input dialog. And so we insert the name 
and then to ask our birth date now and so it will get the information that we insert and insert the information the name and birthday on the fields so to do it we will use an input dialog activity uh, let's track it before the use application browser so here we can set the dialog title and input label so the title can be find your unicorn name and input label please insert your name and so the input type will be a text box so you can write the text write the name our name and so we have created a variable to store the certain name so let's create the variable str name and then let's use another input dialog and now let's give the same dialog title but now input label please insert your birthday month and on this case the input type will not be a text box but it will be a multiple choice and now here we have to input the options and separate them by make column and they should be inside double quotes so i'll just paste here and i will show now so you can see better so basically we have to open double quotes and then insert hish mount separated by semicolon as we can see here so i'll close this window and now we have created a variable to store the month so let's create a variable now by using the shortcut so we have to press control and pressing yet control let's press key and it appears here this uh, set bar so now we just have to define the variable name of the variable that we want to create and now let's just press the enter button and the variable it's created so now here instead of indicating directly on the activity the name to enter let's enter the one stored on our variable by indicating here the variable and now let's do the same here on the activity that selects the month so let's call here the variable that stores the birthday month so and that's it let's run our robot so it's asking to insert our name so let's enter it and now it's asking our mount so at this time i'll select another mount so we can see another unicorn name so i'll press ok it will open the browser enter our name enter the mount that we have inserted and here we can see the unicorn name displayed on the message box and that's it for this tutorial if you like it please smash the like button and also consider to subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so we'll get notified on this tutorial that i launch on the channel and now if you want to learn more about rpa with white path you can learn more by clicking here on the playlist that will appear on the video.